Whoops. <laughs> what is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. Happy Wednesday? Wednesday? Is it Wednesday already? Oh, man. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what day it is. Today, we are going to talk about the blessed. I'm sorry, the honor, the way of honor. There's a reason for it. We'll talk about why I want to talk about it. Specifically, we'll talk about that a little bit later. We're going to talk about a giveaway, a contest, not mine, somebody else's. We're going to talk about it still. And we got to talk about a warning to all Hero Wars mobile players and potentially all Hero Wars Facebook and web players. We have to spread the good word. We have to spread the gospel. Because only you can prevent forest fires. Wait, that's not the right slogan. That's not how that slogan goes. I want to thank everybody for being here that are here so far. Limbicago, welcome back. Darren, good to see you, my friend. Glenn Malvaso. Hey, Charlie from Connecticut. Good to see you. Good to see you. D. Warman is here. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh, Taro says, bonjour, Charlie. Four days to factions. Ah, it's good to, it's good to be uh, fractional. Fractional? <laughs> I see a pig one there in the live stream. Let's chat with the uh, the, the regulars. We got Tunes. Tunes, I answered a question of yours in the YouTube comment just a little bit ago. What's up, Monta? Michael? Christopher Washington, Hero Wars Guide is here. Lady Magic, welcome back, Lady Magic. Uh, Satu78, Christopher Washington. I am the first like in the live stream. I bet my mom liked the live stream before you did. It might not show up on there, but I bet she did. She's been liking my live streams for 38 years, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, Flybone, what is up? Let's see. I uh, lost my place. Zul, Alexander, Suga, Wally. I see the honor of Blessed Team on the cover. Let's hear the good news. Oh, man. Uh, Stephanie Carr, hey, Charlie, from the D. From the D. Uh, thanks, I checked it out before the live stream started. 38 years old? Yeah, I'm 38. That's how old I am. Andy H. Don't, don't let your dreams be memes, guys. You, could be, you too can become a content creator at 38 years old. You don't need to be one of those young TikTokers. You don't need to be one of those. Rocking the uh, St. Louis Battlehawks uh, hat today. I felt uh, uh, a little bit of sports, a little bit of sporty, a little bit of sports ball. Pretty excited about all that. Pretty excited about sports ball. <coughs> I've been draining a little bit, and it's and it's in my throat. So I apologize. I'm going to be coughing. Uh, I I'm so sorry about that. It hits it hits without warning. The cold, and now it's warm again here. It's causing all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble. All right. So the thing that I want to talk about first and foremost today, the Hero Wars mobile Facebook page hit 500,000 uh, subscribers. Or likes, I guess. Not or follows. Whatever you call whatever you call that. Alright, so for a chance to win five thousand emeralds, five of you will get five thousand emeralds. You need to leave let's see. Let's celebrate. Get a chance to win five thousand emeralds by leaving your answer. Your answer for what? What is the answer? Leaving your answer. What is the answer? What is that what is that saying? Leaving your answer in the comments. We'll announce five lucky winners on the 14th in the comments to this post. The rules are simple. Tell us. Oh, here we go. Tell us in the comments what you like about Hero Wars mobile Facebook page. Most of all, uh, obviously, it's them sharing news and the free gifts. Don't forget to leave your ID in the same comment. Read the full contest rules here. Disclaimers. Also, don't forget to like this post and get the gift. Head to Chapter 3, Mission 13. Chapter 3, Mission 13 is the gift of the day. Uh, 5,000 emeralds isn't a lot. Like, you can do just about any of the games on the free emerald tasks and, you know, easily get several hundred to several thousand emeralds. This requires almost no work. So I would recommend everybody going and doing it. Why you like the page? I, I, I like the page. Shouldn't we win 500,000 emeralds? You can't leave a comment. Facebook will block you. Michael Rad is one. Why would Facebook block me? This is just, yeah, Trip Splash, this, uh, this is just for mobile players. Facebook has similar contests. Facebook just hasn't reached that threshold recently. 5K is nothing. I agree. I agree. But there's no effort to it, so 
why not? All right, so <clears throat> something something popped up over the holidays that has been gaining some traction, and it kind of came to a head this morning. Um, first of all, first of all, I, I want to take a second to thank the Hero Wars mobile team. Uh, I want to thank the Hero Wars mobile team for allowing me the opportunity to be a part of their private chats, right? And for those of you that don't know, I'm in a private Discord with some of the community managers, some of the developers, and uh, some of the, uh, um, I guess, other staff, like the uh, like Daniel, the live streamer Daniel. And we get early access to information, and this is also an avenue for some of the other influencers to vent their frustrations. Um, I've done it myself. Not the best place for it, to be honest with you. It is a two-way conversation. But it's not always supposed to be that way. But that's not what we're talking about today. One of the things here, let me uh, let me just show you some screenshots here. Let me just show you some screenshots. Uh, we have we have this issue here. Let me find let me find it here. Let me find it here. So here is why well, I'm way zoomed in. There we go. So here's an example of a appropriately priced bundle on Hero Wars Mobile. Ten dollars, nine ninety nine, whatever. I'm rounding up. Ten dollars USD for eighty soul stones, ten bottled energy, a million gold, some VIP points, yada yada yada. Okay, everybody knows about these. We've seen these bundles a bunch, but what we have now, what we have now are. If you don't have these already, you will get them soon. Um, where did the screenshot go? I, I just I just had it. Okay. So here's an example of one of the new pricing bundles. $100 for 200 soul stones. Now we have emeralds here instead of elixirs, uh, instead of uh, you know, um, XP potions, right? $100 for 200. Now, to compare, oh my gosh. <clears throat> to compare, we have $10 for 80 and some bottled energy. Some bottled energy. $100 for 200 Now, you could argue that you're not necessarily buying this package for the Soul Stones. You could be buying it for the Emeralds, but who's spending $100 on 2,000 Emeralds? This is outrageous. This is outrageous. And we also have, uh, we also have this one right here. $20. This is the more competitively priced bundle. $20 for 40 soul stones. Look at that difference. It went from it went from $10, 80 soul stones and some bottled energy to $20 and 40. So half the soul stones, XP potions instead of bottled energy. More gold, sure, 1 million more gold. Yeah, okay. $20 value there. So this is this is crazy. This is the the increase in price is shocking to some. <laughs> Bundles go from bad to worse. So the conversation came to a head this morning. You know, um, Matt uh, Matt is a uh, one of the content creators or the influencers, and you guys know Tim. Uh, it kind of here. I'll just leave this on here. Um, here is an example of a, a, a bundle over in the Russian servers. It's half the cost, but it's still pretty outrageous, right? Half the cost, $44 instead of $100, but it's still pretty high. It's still pretty high. So, the you know, people were discussing, you know, hey, this is kind of crazy. What's, you know, what's going on? What's with these high prices? Um, and then one of the developers came on. One of the developers who recently joined the influencer, the private influencer chat, comes on and said, we have not changed the prices of the old bundles. So the old bundles are all going to stay the same. Okay. These are new bundles that their cost 
reflects their vision of the content. All right, so the play here, the play here is that they feel that some of these bundles are worth the higher price point. Uh, for whatever reason, the higher, uh, the higher soul stones. Hold on, I just got a, a text message here. Hold on. Breaking the immersions, I know. Yeah. Um. So then, uh, then the developer continues that says, if the new pricing policy doesn't meet our expectations, we will not make new sets with this model. So the point of this conversation, the point of this little section of my live stream here is, um, there is, and, and, I, and I wish I had something like this on my Discord, but over on the unofficial Hero Wars mobile Discord, that's, uh, that's Killshot's Discord. Let me find it here. Um, bundles. Okay, they have a channel called Bundles. Bundles, where they discuss the pricing of the various bundles that you can purchase, both the regular bundles as well as bundles that are presented uh, during during events. Excuse me, during events, and they discuss you know the the efficiency, the value of all of the bundles. So, I, I would suggest two things. First of all, I would suggest you join that channel, follow that channel, discuss in that channel, you know, ask in that channel before you purchase any bundles, right? Before you before you purchase any bundles on Hero Wars Mo Mobile, I would ask in that channel or search in that channel to see if the uh, conversation's already come up. And then additionally, I would say to not buy any bundles for a hot second. Not saying I'll boycott, but these new round of higher price bundles, if we show an inclination to purchase things like this at this price, they will continue at this price, we have to let the market decide. We have to let the market decide. So we, you know, we we had a we had a hot one or two sentence conversation outside of the influencer chat, me and a couple of the others. And I just want to make sure that I'm spreading this knowledge as far and as wide as possible. Now I only have 134 people watching right now, and I know that uh, another maybe another thousand people, maybe another two thousand people, will watch this live stream before it's all said and done. But uh, tell people in your guild, tell people in your you know, in your, in your communities to, you know, to hold off on buying bundles until you, until you do some math, right? After these bundles, no wonder some people are sure $10 for the pass is always worth it. That could be, I mean, they might just be conditioning us. You could always get 80, you could get 80 soul stones for, and 5,000 emeralds for fourteen ninety nine. Is this the new year's prices? Does this prices go up with the oil price in the world? <laughs> I think the bundle prices reflect on what's included, not just the soul stones. More often than not, the huge bundles usually... Bundles with gems and gold usually cost more tunes. I, I mean, I, I don't see how 2,000 emeralds, 2,000 emeralds and 20 chaos cores, 2,000 emeralds and 20 chaos cores, I don't think that's worth $100. That's not worth $100. Like you can get for a hundred dollars, like you can buy. Now I didn't even have like you can get forty two thousand emeralds for a hundred dollars. Forty two thousand, and you can buy Anvari Soulstones elsewhere, right? Can't you? VIP shop maybe. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. If you really wanted 200, what is 200 divided by 5? That's uh 40, right? Yeah. So you could just you could just buy these 40 days in a row. Buying the buying the, you know, the the much higher emerald count. <laughs> uh on web you can get 150 soul stones, 3 million gold and 5k gems for 14.99. How do you jump to $100 for barely more? James, that's a great question. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing similar bundles on Facebook and web for more people. Now it is too expensive. Did you sell the bundles of 80 Lars, 80 Krista and 80 Jorgen soul stones for $20? I did not see that as all that's 40,000 more. Yeah. Yeah. Only once in 2021 was a bundle better than four times emerald sale. 60 K emeralds guild bundle during leopard cats. Uh-huh. Tarot. That's that's correct. The leopard cats sale hopefully will come uh, in the next, uh, in the next two months. 
Tell them they need to organize auctions for detecting real value of bundles. Count that, that's what they're doing right now. It's not necessarily an auction, but they're floating it out there. If enough people buy these bundles, then they're going to keep them. That simple. They double the price. Would you like better mobile or Facebook? I like Facebook better. Season gold ticket and Valk's favor are the only things that are worth buying at this point. I would agree, Kunishin. I, I would say that, you know, Valkyrie's favor to me is the only thing that the average player should buy. That's the only thing that the average player should buy. Everything else in this game is bait for the idea of being the super high-end player. You know, even the fifth skin you could only get during the Eternal Summer season on Facebook and web. The, the, you know, that time or that, uh, that money-gated... Uh, set of beach skins the fifth skins like they weren't even that good they were you know they are good skins they are aesthetically pleasing also right they, they look good you know cleave daddy wearing that hawaiian polo shirt or hawaiian uh, button-up shirt fantastic skin but you know it, when will it actually become necessary to have had that versus not having it is is way beyond the average player's scope sorry didn't mean to bump the table there battle pass is better than valkyrie no no it's not i think valkyrie's favor is better because Battle Pass is only a short time. I mean, it, it depends, Jeff. It depends. It depends. It depends. Oh, I, I guess I guess I'm thinking in the context of uh, Facebook and web. I think uh, I think on mobile, it's a toss up. I'd have to sit down and look at it. But the the um, the speed up, the bonus, uh, the bonus keys and the bonus artifact coins, pretty solid. These bundles are geared towards newer players. Jim, that's my concern. That's my concern. The average new player has never heard of me. Has never heard of, you know, Killshot's Discord. Has never heard of Tim's Facebook group. This is what concerns me. This is what concerns me. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I just kind of want to put that disclaimer out there. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. I, uh, I'll try to get a, a link added to the description for, um, for Killshot's Discord. I'll try to get a, a link added here in, a, in a, just a hot second. Um, if you guys aren't a member of that, if you're a Hero Wars mobile player and you're not a member of that Discord already, uh, it's a pretty good Discord. It's not, as, it's not as cool as mine, you know, obviously, but... Uh, Greg, hi, Charlie. Haven't been on in a while. Love your streams. Oh, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, heroic chest sales are meh. Yeah. Valkyries gives 920 artifact coins every day. Much better than Battle Pass. Battle Pass gives a lot of random, not so important. Yeah, Taro, you just get a lot of stuff, right? Just a large pile of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right, this is my landlord. Yeah. Our lease is up. Can you guys believe I've been here for two years? The end of February, we've lived in this. I've, I've been in this studio for two years. Wild. So our lease is up uh, end of February. <clears throat> and I emailed the landlord. I emailed the leasing office, whatever, uh, two weeks ago. And I was like, hey, you know, we're inside 60 days. We'd like to renew our lease. Please, you know, get us this contract so we can get everything. We get everything updated. We want to. You know, we want to make sure that, you know, the things are locked in. We want to make sure we have plenty of time if, if you're going to change, if you're going to change the rent, which we think that they're going to change the rent. Um, you know, we need plenty of time to discuss it and potentially move. So uh, I emailed them, I emailed them over a week ago and I was like, you know, all of that. And they just texted me this morning. They're like, hey, please call me. We have to talk about your, your lease. We haven't heard from you about the lease. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hopefully your landlord is like Hero Wars and Jack. The <laughs> okay. 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 The way of honor. The way of honor. Now, this is something that I wanted to do with the other factions as well. The way of mystery is fresh. So I didn't really want to talk about it yesterday. Like it just 
The Mystic Tribe just happened. Possibly the most complete tribe there is. Uh, maybe the top two, top three complete tribes there is. The Way of Nature, I really wish that we had spent some time talking about this, but uh, we just didn't. We, you know, we weren't, we weren't, uh, we, we didn't have time on Monday to discuss it. But uh, I do want to talk about the Way of Honor. I feel like that the Way of Honor, the blessed heroes, if you will, the blessed heroes, am I zoomed in too far? There we go. The blessed heroes were when they started to decide that they needed to collapse the factions into, uh, you know, just a smaller number instead of continually adding new tribes. And I don't really have any any reasoning for that aside from just a feeling. But I, I will say this. They didn't really do much promotion of the blessed tribe. And this one was the first tribe that had kind of two different directions that you could go. Like two solid directions that you could go. And, and we put out uh, we put out a, uh, a blog post a little while ago discussing the two ways to build a blessed team. And of course, that was before that. Uh, that was before Ching Mao and Ishmael was added. Ching Mao and Ishmael are not very honorable, but um, it's okay. It's okay. So we have we have two solid tank options here. Uh, potentially a third with the hero Marcus, right? We have a couple solid damage dealers. We have a couple solid damage dealing supports. Uh, all in all, not a bad tribe. I wanted to kind of discuss the the things that this tribe needs. And I got to find my spreadsheet that I was running off of. Here we go. My end frame. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> So, this is one man's opinion right here. And, uh, you know, big shout out to Assassin for putting this spreadsheet together for me. I've used it off and on over the last couple of weeks. They've got a solid couple of tanks, right? They've got Galahad and Luther. They've got a couple of solid off tanks, right? With Tristan and Ching Mao and Marcus. They have a single backline hero in Helios, which you could argue you have to level him up. These other three heroes, the other four heroes that I just discussed, you don't have to level them up. You don't have to have Galahad or Luther or Tristan or Ching Mao. You don't have to have any of those, or Marcus. Um, you probably need Helios. Backline support, they've got Cornelius. Very niche, very niche hero. They have nothing in the middle. As far as support heroes. Black di backline damage dealers, they don't have anything. Uh, midline damage dealers, they don't have anything. Frontline damage dealers, they have Ishmael. Uh, you could also consider Tristan and Ching Mao a frontline damage dealer. Uh, they have... Well, according to this, according to Assassin, only one damage support in Artemis. I'm not sure how that, how she's a damage support, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. There, there are some holes. There are some holes. And I put out a video a couple of, a couple of pro, about 10 days ago, about 12 days ago, about what, you know, what, what each tribe, I'm sorry, what each faction needs, where the holes are with each faction. And they're definitely missing some mid and backline DPS. And they're definitely missing some supports, right? You could call all of them effectively supports for, what is it, Tristan? And who's the other hero that gains? Who's the other hero that gains? Was it Helios? I think it's Helios. I mean, they all support those two, right? Having the additional honor heroes. But what do they need? What do they need? Do they need another healer? Do they need another tank? And whenever whenever I say things like <clears throat> whenever I say things like, you know, missing missing supports, missing midline and backline DPS, uh, damage dealers, I should say. Why why that's important is if you have few options for backline damage dealers, it limits your variety. It limits your team building 
availability. Helios. Helios is like a misfit there. Convince us otherwise. These factions will break teams for sure. Convince us. I, I, I mean, if I haven't convinced you yet, then I don't think you've been listening. Of course, it's getting more expensive. Nexers wants all. Mm -hmm. Magic penetration. There are no magic penetration. Yeah. So Calnap and Scott K both say magic penetration and magic attack for Helios. Honor needs a pure DPS. Michael says they need a de uh, damage dealer. Galahad and Tristan and Ish pair with Sebastian and Jed if you don't use progress. Okay, okay. I think I think uh, there's an argument to be made for leveling up two factions. Two factions, not three, but two. And then gathering a handful of heroes from the other, uh, from the other factions to round out your team. Right? Helios turns Yasmin to dust. Okay. If you use progress, don't use honor. That's what Tarot says. If you use progress, don't use honor. Okay. Okay. There's no magic damage dealer other than Helios. Uh, so only there are experts in misleading us. I, I don't I don't think that this is gonna really change the game that much. Like, what do we have? What do we have? The thing that I'm most curious about with the Honor Tribe is the additional options that Tristan is going to gain. So you have you have this ability right here. Tristan releases the demonic souls imprisoned in the demonic reliquary. They target the enemy with the highest magic penetration stat. Each hit deals damage and burns one energy. Uh, the skill triggers once for each blessed one in the team. So this ability right here is going to burn energy faster on a single hero depending on the amount of other honor based heroes are in your uh, are in your group and i think that's it right yeah is that the only is that the only uh honor ability whenever an ally in front of tristan yeah so that's the only blessed modifier that we have here blessed honor whatever Yeah. And then the other one is Helios, right? Helios? Is it Helios? Here we go. Yeah. So Helios' green ability summons an invulnerable flaming sphere, dealing damage to nearby enemies over time. The sphere deals 50% more damage for each blessed ally other than Helios. So the reason why factions is not going to break teams especially with the honor tribe uh specifically the honor tribe we can talk about the other ones if you'd like but there was enough blessed heroes to put yeah there was enough blessed heroes to have a full tribe of blessed already maybe four but the addition of ching mao and ishmael do they change your team building i don't think so I, I think that this is a this is a blatant example of why this does not matter. Like, yeah, okay, so the spheres are going to do 50% more damage uh, for each blessed ally other than Helios. That's a good chunk more damage, but you got to admit, you could have had, I mean, you could have had three to five blessed heroes already, uh, and then the uh, the additional energy burn off of a single hero that's already gonna. That's already showing to shut down a single magic damage hero, or the or the furthest most hero with uh, Tristan's. Um, with Tristan's um, Judge of Sorcerers ability. The addition of Ishmael and Shingmao. I'm sorry, Ishmael. Ishmael and Shingmao is not going to change this honor tribe that much. It's not. Wait, 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 wait. You are right. They don't want us to build teams that will give us a benefit. Those two modifiers are not changing that much. They're not increasing the damage output of any of the other he uh, heroes in that team. I think that the blessed, I think that the way of honor is one of the worst tribes. When the way of eternity gets one more hero, I think the Way of Honor is the worst tribe. The worst tribe. <clears throat> the, 
they need to give they need to give one to two more of these heroes skills that are modified by honor heroes Helios heals blessed heroes I mean sure yeah I guess I should have mentioned that too 2% health. Yeah, 2% healing. 2% healing. Mm. Think it I agree. But we don't know that. All we can do is look at what we have right in front of us now. <clears throat> I think I'll go for Mystery. On my server, basically every team is Yasmin. Should I build Helios? Yes. Yes, Baxter. Factions will be like tribes in the sense that a few will be beneficial with heroes from other tribes. Yep. I don't see myself changing my hero building path for my pre-faction direction. Agree, Assassin. I agree. What heroes would gain from Tristan's fourth power? Who stands in front of him that gains energy? Uh, all heroes gain energy. Evil. All heroes gain energy when they take damage, when they receive damage, or when they use a skill, or when they kill an enemy hero. <clears throat> If you're concerned about bonus energy, I don't think that there's any bonus energy heroes that stands in front of Tristan. You could you could find a way to stack it with uh, maybe Jorgen and Aurora. Right, Jorgen, Jorgen targets the lowest armor, right? No, just protects a random... Um, is it Anvari? Yeah, yeah. You could you could use you can use some fun games like Aurora and Vari with Tristan. Galahad was worst is still in worst tribe and will always be worst. <laughs> I guess Astrid, Lucas, and Isaac don't gain energy. Uh, Isaac on mobile does gain energy, but not on. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Isaac on mobile gains energy, but not on Facebook and web. Dodge don't do anything to the hero. That's fine. I'm not. I'm still not sure why they haven't implemented that dodge energy change, but they have not. <laughs> they have not. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. So, I, I I think that the way of honor has enough heroes. But they could possibly benefit from magic penetration, weapon artifacts, right? And they could benefit from more modified skills, more skills that are modified by the number of Way of Honor. Does anybody else have any big issues? Jorgen is behind him, though. Right, Scott K., but Jorgen's shield increases energy gain. So if Jorgen's shield lands on the tank in front of Tristan... It would it would boost it would boost the energy gain. Would I use Martha or Celeste with Astaroth, Z Shot, and Lilith? I would use both. I would potentially use both. With these new factions, building a dodge team will be a magnificent build to work on. I'm not sure that dodge team is worth doing. Cleaver, Galahad, Rufus, Tristan Helios. Three tank, Tristan Helios. Interesting. Interesting. Caesar, I don't know yet. I don't know what the upcoming event is. I do not know what the upcoming event is. <laughs> Sir Mafu says, I'm still refusing to put any mental energy into the tribe's facts and just for the fact that they don't really affect the game much. Agree. And won't influence any effective team builds. Also agree. Anybody that's going to build a Twins team... An ODH team, an Elmir, Del Devil, Dark Star team. All those teams are still going to be effective. <clears throat> Dodge is making my team so weak. It's just random, Monta. Dodge is random. Dang. If 
Freaking stunned. I need to kill that Araji. Got him. Okay. <clears throat> kill the Sigurd. Big rock throw. Shield is up to block Eden's rock throw. Hyperion, though, just cuts him down. Double Titan fighting day. Man, I'm bored. Come on, come on. Nice. Okay. The Raji's down before the totem went up. That's all that matters. Kill off this Nova. I put up my uh, I put up my Earth Barrier too soon. You know, for as, as thick as my uh, as thick as my Angus is, he's pretty weak. Hmm. Tyler F. Uh, when will Hero Wars bring in more Titan mechanics? So, the mobile version of the game just added a couple artifacts and skins. And I'm not sure if that's specifically what you're asking for, but those two features were added to Facebook a little while ago. A couple of years ago, in fact. So, they don't have those to add. I'm not sure. They haven't really done much. They haven't really done much with Titans on Hero Wars Facebook and web. I think we might be due. Yeah, this is... Uh... Uh, it's Stream Beats Originals by Harris Heller. It's the... the... The Demons album. This is the one that's got Wellerman on it. That Wellerman song that we used to rock to. It came out last year. I bet you that they're going to add something to Titans this year on Facebook. Your Hyperion heal is not enough. One million still weak. Yeah. Hyperion needs some love. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll definitely get the word out about the higher promo packages on my show as well for your, from uh, for you from day one. Uh, you got it. Thank you. Speaking of Titan mechanics, have the devs or C said anything about new skills or a fifth Titan? Uh, I mean, they've continually said that a fifth Titan would be cool, but they have no plans to add one. Uh, Abinov, the next Facebook and web event will go live tomorrow night slash Friday morning. I don't know what the event is yet. Uh, the next mobile event, I don't know what that is yet. I don't know when it is. High self seen from Hyperion 1 point mil. Mine is around. Let's see. Check it off. Like a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. No pets for Titans. Hope not. No skins for pets. No artifacts for pets. I feel like those days are coming, though. <laughs> I, I just feel like those days are coming. That we're going to get freaking artifact pets. It's going to be a nightmare. Strength still. Blah. <laughs> High chance the event is Fire Titan event. Uh, so Trip Splash, I looked at last year. The water, the water Titan event actually happened right after Winterfest last year. Why did I leave Faceless in here? I meant to put Sebastian in. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. Yeah. 
It actually might matter. Wow, I lost. Oh my god, I lost. Like so, okay. So if I had faceless or fa <sighs> that's what I get for not paying attention. That's what I get for not paying attention. Dang. A fish? <laughs> we had a water event four weeks ago. Yeah. Better effects in skin just so browser can complain about something. I mean, everybody's going to complain regardless. All right. That's what we do. That's what we do as humans is complain. What is the event happening? Um, Alexander, I don't know. I don't know. Fahim says I don't need anything new for at least one year. See, you say that, but if we got nothing new for a whole year, no new heroes, no new pets, no new skins, even though these are all things that we have to spend resources on and level up and consider if they're worth building and, and all of that, we would be so bored. Faction totems for heroes. Jeffrey needs new socks. <laughs> we would be so bored and so many people would just be complaining that we don't have that we don't have enough to do release the content you would say release the content I think he meant about nothing new for titans oh yeah yeah, yeah. well I know I know I'm just saying that in general in general I'm out of money. Need to open some Titan Soul Stones. Pull 42. So, uh, Miss Charlie took a half day today. Uh, so, after this, we're going to go and do some stuff. Got a couple of errands to run. I hurt my back a little bit over the weekend. And I tweaked it a little bit. Kind of mad because it was a really light thing that tweaked my back. It was a very... It was a very underwhelming weight that I was lifting. But, you know, I'm 38 and I lifted it incorrectly, so I paid the price. So I pay the price. Uh, <clears throat> so I haven't really been to the gym at all this week. How's your house guest? He's doing okay. Much better today. Much better today. Who gets romantic skins? That's a good question. You know, open your eyes and die. That's that is worth that is something worth chatting about. We we are getting like six new skins in the next in the next month and a half. Six new skins. They're gonna do the Lunar New Year skins, and then they're gonna do the romantic skins. Lunar New Year and then Romantic Skins. And then on April 1st, we get Masquerade Skins. So we get, we're getting like 12, we're getting like 12 new skins in the next three months. In the next two months, I guess. That's going to shake things up. But you know what's going to happen though, right? Like Facebook is going to get all those skins and then mobile's going to get one of them for some dumb reason. <laughs> Abdurham says, great storm event. I would love a great storm event. I would love a great storm event. I would love to spin my extra emeralds. I would love to absolute star a couple of pets, get a couple of pets into violet spring skins. Uh, what are spring skins? June, July. Chava dodge skin. <laughs> of course, what we do as humans do is complain. By the way, my new episode premieres right after your live stream. There you go. Yasmin needs a new skin. Ah, uh, I think Yasmin is possibly overtuned a little bit still. Um, I think they're afraid to give Yasmin anything. I think they're afraid to give Yasmin any new skins. I would be. I would be. Although she's so easy to counter. She's so easy to counter. So, is it too early for Iris to get a skin? Uh, no. So Iris definitely needs a skin. In fact, uh, I'm putting out a video later this week. Um, Yasmin needs a nerf. Yeah. I'm putting out a... Uh, a lot of people think that she already got nerfed. 
Uh, I'm putting out a an, an Iris tier list discussion video later this week. And really, until she gets additional skins, she's just a low tier damage dealer to me. She has absolutely zero utility. She only works in one game mode. Only one game mode. Well, two technically, I guess. Three if you count Grand Arena, but I don't care about Grand Arena. Her skills don't work on bosses at all. Super squishy. Very difficult to build a team with her because of how wonky her setup is. Why Iris didn't get a winter skin? Uh, Mr. LOL, she'll get a winter skin next year. Judge Magic Penetration skin is coming? Oh man, that'd be awesome. A lunar... No, Judge already has a lunar skin. Mechanical, Champion, Lunar, Masquerade. So he needs a Romantic skin. That's what Judge needs, a Romantic skin. I really like these Mechanical skins, guys. I, I think these Steampunk Mechanical skins are awesome. Uh, Arachne. Arachne has this one right here. I love this skin. I love this skin. Web and Facebook's gonna get 14 skins, but mobile's only gonna get half a skin. A video shared in Hero Wars Asian group showed Amira destroying all opponents from her first skill. How OP is she? I mean, Amira is tough. Amira is is a tough cookie. She she does so much damage. But you know, you could you can work your way out of it. There there are ways to counter her just like anything else. You know, she she's easy to kill. Her damage is, is really delayed, so if you can kill them before they kill you... I mean, there's ways around it, but she's tough. As much as you all hate Yasmin, I hate Dante on web. Dante is... Dante feels, to me, more oppressive, more difficult to manage. Dante feels more difficult to manage to me than Yasmin. I agree with you, QWERTY. I agree with you 100%. Steve Cross says, does anyone else feel let down and play? I'm a little... I'm a little, uh... I'm a little blah. You know, I realized today, and you know, shame on me, but I was logging in this morning and I realized that I have I haven't collected my daily bonus in like three days. I just collected my day nine bonus and today's the twelfth. So I'm, how did I miss three days of collecting my bonus? Like what well, what have I been doing the past three days? I don't even I don't even I mean I've played every day. I've hit my guild war targets, I've I don't know what I've did. I don't know what I did. Aurora's a pretty good counter to Dante. She can be. <clears throat> Driving to a while. I mean, I no, because I, uh, I, I, the, the first half of the drive. Well, you know that is true. I did not. I, I did not log in. I, I, I did though. I did log in. I mean, that that had to have been one of the days that I messed up. As a longtime Dante user, I dislike his resurgence. He's, I mean, he's not as, he's not, you know, he's not over, I mean, he, he feels a little overpowered, but he's not. Like, you can build teams around him. A lot of people are so wrapped up with the idea that, you, you know, your team has to be able to counter every team. And that's just not how Hero Wars is set up. Like, there are just some teams that your team cannot beat. Right? On average, the Twins have a hard time beating Kark. Right? For example... You know, on average, Kira teams do really well against Kark teams. Just how it is. Just how it is. That's just how it is. Do we have any events on Facebook and web? Yeah, this weekend, Greg. This weekend. This weekend, got an event. Uh, 2 a.m. UTC on Friday for web and 5 a.m. UTC on Friday for Facebook. But we don't know what the events are yet. All right. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I hear Miss Charlie's upstairs. Uh, we're going to stop a couple minutes early so we can get this, uh, get these errands in. I want to thank everybody for a great show today. It was a little bit, uh, 
a little bit heavy on the mobile side, but you know, I think you guys will forgive me. Let me jump back and forth. Um, quick recap, don't buy bundles that seem too expensive because they probably are. Uh, the Honor Tribe is, in my opinion, the second worst tribe and will be the worst tribe once Eternity gets one or two more heroes. And uh, go enter to win your chance to you know get 5,000 emeralds if you want. I, I'm not going to do it because... It just doesn't seem, doesn't seem worth it to me. Uh, live stream tomorrow is the Thursday night live stream. That is, I'm going to be live streaming at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. 1.30 a.m. UTC on Friday. All right. 7.30 p.m. We're going to go live 30 minutes before the event on Hero Wars Web goes live. We're going to get a notification about what that event is going to be tomorrow morning. As soon as I know what that event is, I'll share some information in the Discord. If you're not already a member of the Discord, please go join the Discord uh, and uh, and come hang out. Come say hi. We're going to overhaul it. I've already started. I've already started moving stuff around. So stay tuned. I'm going to go get some lunch. I'm going to make a call to my, uh, my realtor. I'm going to run these errands. So that's that. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.